Okay, so we've got a bag that contains nine coloured balls, of which three are red, three are blue, and three are yellow. Who selects three of these at random, without replacement? We're asked to calculate the probability that he selects one ball of each colour, or two balls of the same colour, and one ball of a different colour. So this is a standard kind of combinations question, because we're picking from a set of things, and we're doing it, most importantly, without replacement. Okay, so the easiest way to approach this is by using NCR methods. Okay, so starting off, probability one of each. Please don't forget to use your correct notation. So labeling what it is you're actually calculating. So one of each means that I'm actually going to get probability one red and one blue and one yellow. Okay, so what we're going to do is if we're going to work out the probability of this, first of all, it means to pick one red from three, so I'm going to do three, choose one. Now, because it says and here, so these events have to happen with each other, that means I'm going to combine them together, and so I'm going to multiply them, because every one way that I can choose one red, it can be paired with one way that I can choose one blue. And then exactly the same again, we're going to multiply because it's and happening with the one yellow, and again, this is going to be three, choose one. So on the top, we now have all the ways that we can pick one red, one blue, and one yellow. Underneath, we need the total outcomes. So this is just the fact that we got nine balls, and we are going to choose three from those set of nine balls. You can then enter this onto your calculator and calculate that in one go, and this should give you the answer, nine over 28. Leave this as a fraction, because it's an exact answer, and it's much neater than doing it with a decimal and rounding, because that, of course, will be approximation. Okay, so how do I get marks on this question? Well, you actually get two marks for this section here. You're going to get one method mark, and you're going to get one accuracy mark. You then get one accuracy mark for getting this answer at the end of the question. Okay, so nice and straightforward there. One mark for the use of the NCR, and sorry, two marks for the use of the NCR correctly, and one mark for a correct answer. Okay, so looking at part B. Part B is two balls of the same colour, one other. So we're saying P, probability two the same, one other. Okay, so let's think about the ways that this can happen. First of all, I could pick two reds and one other. One other. Or I could pick two blues and one other other, or I can pick two yellows, Oops. and one other. Okay, so there's three different ways that we can do this. So let's focus, let's break it down a little bit, let's focus on actually thinking about two reds and one other. Very similar to part A. Okay, what we're thinking about here is picking two reds from three, so I've got three choose two. And what we can do here is it doesn't actually matter whether the other ball is red or yellow, just that it's not red. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to think about this as a set of six non-reds instead of the separate three blue and three yellow, because of course I'm not interested what colour the, the second one, uh, the other ball is, just as long as it isn't red. So this is going to be times by six, choose one. And this is all out of a total of nine, choose three again. So, if we put this into our calculator and work it through, making sure we make no silly mistakes, we should get 3 out of 14. Okay. Now, when I do 2 blue and 1 other, I'm going to do 3 choose 2 plus 6 choose 1 again, because there's going to be 3 blue, and I'm going to pick 2 of them, and there's going to be 6 non-blue, and I'm going to pick 1 of them. So, this is actually... I'll put in brackets, also equal to probability of two blue and one other. And actually, when you come to do the two yellows as well, you'll find that we're going to pick two blue yellows from the set of three, and we're going to pick one non-yellow from the set of six, all over nine, choose three. So these three probabilities are all actually equal. So you don't really need to go through the process and show each time that... They are the same. So now what I can say 
at the end is probability of two the same and one other. Well, because we're saying that it's I can have two red and one other, or two blue, or two yellow, what we're going to do is we're going to add these three probabilities together because I'm saying like one thing can happen, or another thing can happen, sorry, not times, or another thing can happen, or another thing happens. So it links kind of to tree diagrams. Okay, so I'm totaling up all the possible outcomes where this can happen. And so what we get is an answer of 9 over 14. Okay, so where do we get our marks on this question? Well, again, what we're going to get for this section here is you are going to get one method mark and you can have one accuracy mark for calculating the probability of two of one colour and one of another colour. It doesn't matter whether it's blue, red or yellow, just as long as uh, you've done it for one of them. You can then have one accuracy mark for calculating actually the probability for two of one colour and one of another is three over 14. Finally, you get one accuracy mark for totaling up that when we consider this happening for all of the three different colours, so red, blue and yellow, that it gives you a probability of 9 over 14. Okay, so I hope that all makes sense.